What's going on guys? This is Tyler Breck from T-Bone MMA. So before I start, I just want to thank you guys for the support on the last time I did one of these. Every UFC 208 fighter in three words got like about 370 views, which is just crazy for me. Th thank you so much guys for all the support. You guys, you're the, you're the best. Thank you so much. So with the success of that last video, I thought I'd do it again for UFC 209. So this is every UFC 209 fighter in three words. 209 209 099. I will try to do this in under nine minutes. I like to talk, so that's that's a very big challenge for me. In my last video, I made a goal for myself to keep it in under 10 minutes. I failed, but this time I'm gonna push myself even more. I'm gonna try to keep it in under nine minutes. Are you ready? You ready? Let's not waste any more time. But so let's start with the UFC fight pass early prelims. The very first fight, Albert Morales versus Andre Sokomthoth. Andre Sokomthoth, three words: don't go distance. He's got a record of one win and three losses when the fight goes the distance. So he's obviously looking for a finish. And only one of his victories were by were by a decision. And he's got three losses. But three of his three losses were by decision. So Albert Morales, three words, first UFC win. He's looking for his very first UFC victory in his, in two fights. He's got 0-1-1 one one in the UFC. But his only loss was to Thomas Almeida, which I can admit he's a very good fighter. And his second fight went to a draw. All right, so the next fight on the card... It was another late replacement. Amanda ABC Cooper versus Cynthia Calvillo. Uh, Cynthia Calvillo. Uh, only three fights. Question mark. That's kind of crazy how she only has three fights since she's fighting in the UFC. I don't know exactly what happened there or if she just has some connections. I'm not sure. But only three fights seems a little less. But she is undefeated. So that's very impressive. So who knows? Maybe she just is just, just a freak athlete. Who knows? She'll be fighting Amanda, ABC Cooper. Uh, not ranked? Not yet ranked. Three words, not yet ranked? That, that's kind of surprising because she did fight for the title. And she she uh, was in the finals for the Ultimate Fighter that, you know, decided to uh, decided the uh, the first UFC strawweight champion until that champion, I forget her name, lost to Johanna Jacek. Uh She's a 2010-2011 Golden Gloves champion and two-time Naga expert champion. So she's got... Very good attributes behind her. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that she's not ranked. Okay, the next fight, the headliner on the UFC Fight Pass prelims, Tyson Pedro versus Paul C Beard Jew Craig. Uh, for Tyson Pedro, no, no, for Paul Craig, uh, three words, next Rich Franklin, question mark. Uh, he, he, uh, He's a teacher, like I said in my last in my last video. If you haven't watched that video, by the way, go watch it. Uh, UFC 209 podcast. Go watch that. I'm running low on time. I got to speed it up a little bit. Uh, Rich Franklin is a was a teacher, was a high school teacher. Paul Craig is also a high school teacher, and he's finished all of his nine fights, all of his nine fights, and he's also undefeated. So that's very impressive. He'll be fighting Tyson Pedro. I had two three words for him. Very awesome personality. He's a very exciting fighter. I got the chance to watch him. I believe he fought in Australia, I think. I can't remember. And apparently, Dan Hardy had a lot of good things to say about him. So, three words. Believe the hype. Uh, um, you could believe the hype. He's undefeated. He's 5-0. and So, that's very impressive. Okay. The next fight. Uh, the first fight in the FS1 prelims. Uh, Mark, the hand the hand of God beer. That's an awesome nickname versus Daniel Spit. Daddy Lo Daniel Daddy Long Leg Spitz. That's hard to say. For Daniel Spitz, replaces Todd Duffy. That's a bummer. Uh, Todd Duffy is a very exciting fighter, but Daniel Spitz is an undefeated up and coming prospect, especially in the uh, heavyweight. No, yeah, heavyweight division. So he's looking to make a name for himself. Mark Godbeer, why on PPV, if that counts? Why on pay per view? His last fight was on uh, UFC Fight Pass. It was on the undercard for a. For, uh, um, some, some FS1 show, I can't remember. I think it was Uriah Hall versus Gagar and Musasi. I can't remember, but he lost that fight, so I'm kind of surprised that he's on the prelims for a pay-per-view. Okay, next fight. Number 15 ranked, Erie Alicantra versus Luke Saunders. Erie Alicantra, he is a diamond in the dirt. He's got a black belt in jiu-jitsu. He's, he's a great striker. So, But he's just been taken down his last few, fight, few fights, and that has been his weakness. So he's kind of a diamond in the dirt. If he can figure out how to not be taken down, that will certainly be a huge, huge uh, attribute for him because he he's very he's a very good fighter. Sorry, I have to talk really fast, so I'm not I'm not thinking much. Uh, Luke Saunders, three words, uh, natural born fighter. He's just a born fighter. I told you a story in my last video about how when he was 16, he was a tough he was in a tough man competition. He beat three grown men in one night, 
uh, to win 600 bucks. So he's a natural born fighter. He's been a fighter since he was, the day he was born. Next fight, number 13 ranked Mirsad Bektik versus number 14 ranked Darren Elkins. Uh, three words uh, for Mirsad Bektik, up, up, undefeated up and coming featherweight. The featherweight division is a very stacked division, so new blood is always very good, and especially an undefeated blood coming up. Um, for Darren Elkins, three words, looking for highlights. He's on a, like a three or four fight win streak right now, so he's looking for a big victory to boost him into the spotlight, especially in the featherweight division. Okay, the headliner of the FS1 prelims, Marcin Tibera versus Luis Enrique. Marcin Tibera, another Polish fighter. It just seems like Poland is just pumping out fighters just left and right. You know, Johanna Young, Jacek, um, just a lot, of, a lot of Polish fighters. I don't have enough time to talk about them. Uh, you'll be fighting Luis Enrique. By the way, this fight was supposed to be on UFC 28, but got pulled. Uh, Luis Enrique, young heavy, heavyweight blood. There's not a whole lot of young heavyweight fighters, and a lot of young heavyweight fighters have been making a comeback from all the way up to the top. Stevie Miocic to Derek Lewis to... Um, Ah, I can't think of his name right now. Ah, I can't remember. Francis Ngannou. That's who I was thinking of. New blood coming up is always good, especially for the heavyweight division. Okay, the next fight. Speaking of heavyweights. Number three ranked Alistair Overeem versus number eight ranked Mark Super Simone Hunt. Uh, number three ranked Alistair Overeem. Three words. Don't get caught. He doesn't have that great a chin. I never like to question a fighter's chin, but he's been knocked out ten times. Uh, 10 of his 15 losses were by knockout, so he's looking not to get hit, especially by Mark Hunt. And three words for Mark Hunt, please catch him. I love Mark Hunt, and I love his walkaway knockouts, so having a walkaway knockout to, he to, to open the curtain for the pay-per-view would be very exciting. Got two minutes. Let's see if I can do it. Lan Lando Venata versus David David Timor. Lando, Lando Venata, look past, hi look past hi highlights. That means two things. Look at his past highlights. He's a very exciting fighter, but also look past it. You know, he, 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 has to, he has two fights, and one of his fights ended in a crazy spinning knockout, and he almost beat Tony Ferguson. That was unbelievable. That was unreal. I was there to watch that event live. I'm from Sioux Falls. I have to mention that one time in every single video. I have to really hurry up now. Uh, but look past it. He still has some, uh, still need, needs to have some highlights in order to build his resume up. He's fighting David Timor. Three words for him. Looking for name, getting a win over Lando Venata, especially on pay-per-view, could certainly be burst, bo boost his stardom. That's the word I was looking for. Got one minute, 43 seconds. Well, one minute, whatever, 15 seconds. Sugar Rashad Evans versus Daniel Kelly. Three words for Rashad Evans. Middleweight, middleweight comeback, possibly. Uh, he's making his de middleweight debut. That's all I got to say about that. Daniel Kelly, very dangerous challenger. He's a very good fighter. Rashad Evans has his hands full, especially... Uh, especially dropping down in middleweight. Uh, number one ranked Habib Nur Nurmagomedov. I love Habib Nurmagomedov, and I love saying his name. He's the ultimate donut. For the people that have watched my last video, whenever someone has an undefeated record, I like to say donut, because donut is like zero. It's circular. He's the ultimate donut. He's got 24 wins and zero losses. That is unbelievable. He's fighting number two ranked Tony Ferguson. Three words, Heart. Will and crazy. He's got that little cup of crazy in him. He's got a lot of heart and he's got a lot of will. And he's also got skill, but that's not three words. Okay, moving on. I got 20 seconds. Number one, right? Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Watch and admire. He's an unbelievable fire. Just watch and admire. Champion Tyron Woodley. Get a dominant victory. If he can finish Ty if he can finish Steven Wonderboy Thompson very quickly, he'll certainly boost his stardom. And he's always complaining about how the UFC doesn't doesn't like to get behind him much. So if he gets a victory over Steven Wonderboy Thompson, it'll be very impressive. Did it in under nine. Did it in nine minutes. <sighs> I had to talk very fast. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe. This is Tyler Beck from T Bone MMA, and I'll catch you guys later.